is Laura GP and in this Power BI video we're going to look at connecting to a data set. So here we are in a brand new report and the first thing we are going to do is we're going to go onto the home ribbon and we're going to connect up to a data set that has already been published. So on the home ribbon under the data group there is a button of Power BI data sets so click onto there and it will show you the list of the data sets that are available to you, all the workspaces that you've got and it will list them all. Okay, The ones that come to the top are any that have been certified or promoted within your, within your tenancy. So we're just going to have a, we're just going to limit it down to one um, workspace just by searching for the name of that workspace. So I typed in gift and there you are, I've got my gift reports. So I've got a certified one, a promoted one, but actually we're going to go for the one that's not any of those. So we're going to click onto that and click create. And this creates a connection to that data set. So once that's happened, there's a couple of things that have changed. Okay, so you can no longer see the tables of data, but a recent update means you can now go and see the model and you can see how it's laid out. So you can, from in there, click on various fields. So if I come through transactions, I can click on a field and I can see the properties. I can't change them and I can't change the relationships. Um, but I could come into here and on quantity there, I can see that the person that put this data set up has included a description. Okay, so there's things into there. Um, and it's got all the measures included as well. So there's the, the turnover measure creating the data set. The one thing I can do in here is I can create a new measure. So let's go into here and just quickly add in a new measure. So let's, this is going to be the volume sold really simple measure it's just going to be the sum of from my transactions my quantity column put in a bracket and there we are the measure is there now obviously we can move it so let's move it to the transactions table which will make slightly more sense so there we are, we've got our measure in there and that's in, included in this report. So I'm just now going to quickly create a report and I'm ready to publish. So here's our report ready to publish. So back onto the home ribbon, click the publish button. and to my gift reports and click select. So there we are, it's published. So let's switch over to um, Power BI in the browser and see it in the workspace. So here we are in, our, in Power BI. Let's switch to our workspace of gift reports and here is our workspace now this view just gives you a list of all the reports and all mixed up so what I suggest in this case is we switch view to the lineage view and here you are you can see our sales report here and you can see all the reports that come off our sales report and even if those reports go onto a dashboard and we can see our certified and promoted data sets below. So let's have a look at this from the point of view of the person with the sales report. So let's switch to that in Power BI. So here we are in our sales report and what we're going to do is we're going to just publish it again.
and you can see replace this data set so it's warning you that if you publish it you're going to overwrite a data set that will impact two workspaces there's four reports and one dashboard okay so if i go to view impact this will open my report its workspace and show me the impact analysis tab which will show me which reports and the other workspace that is connected in here as well okay and how that works going back in to my report for a moment so I'm going to press cancel just so I don't have to watch it go through so one thing that we illustrated in when we connected up was a description on a field so if we switch over to the model view and we pick a field we can see we've got a description box here which I can type into so let's put in the average cost of production into here okay so into there so that gives you a, a description for that field so that when people can see it they will get that description so we've looked at connecting to a data set and seeing the connections to a data set within a workspace and we've had a look at publishing that workspace back and seeing what impact it has if you haven't already please press subscribe take care now mm -hmm.